Thank Glad you. How go. are you? I'm good. And you? Good. How are you? What can I do for you today? Actually, so, get your stuff down first. Yeah, thank you. So I'm inside of a, a six-year program right now. It's the uh, six-year bachelor's of health science, doctorate of physical therapy program. Right. And I'm taking a lot of courses like this anatomy class, which I'm in with you right now. And like all these courses where it's like a lot of memorization. How would you think I should like start to learn all this material since it's like so much? I think that's a great question, and I think you're in a great place where you're starting to think about that now. You're like at the beginning of a long haul, right? Yeah. So you have six years in which essentially your job is learning. Let me tell you a little bit about kind of the science behind learning, and then I think we can probably think of a couple things you could do that might help a little bit. Okay. So when we learn, and this is when we learn anything, like whether you're learning a foreign language or you're learning how to play tennis or you're learning anatomy, right? It's kind of like all the same. It's just that idea of how our brains work. Okay, for sure. So when you first encounter something new, it's foreign to you, right? And then you, you go over the material, right? And eventually it becomes familiar. The kind of process by which we make this transition is through exposure. Just kind of immersing yourself in the language of the thing, of kind of getting used to the terms and kind of the way things work. Mm -hmm. So this, the like next transition in our learning is to move from familiarity to mastery. What the learning science tells us is that this transition is not just about more exposure, but this transition is about practice. So things that fall into this category are like reading, rereading, copying notes. A lot of students tell me they copy the notes. Listening. A lot of students tell me they rewatch the lectures again and again, right? Yeah. The idea here is, is these are all things where you're kind of sitting, observing someone else's mastery of the material. Yeah. But in practice, you're seeing how much you've mastered it. So these are things like drawing, writing, talk about it to someone else or teach it, right? Your friend, your mom, your dog, your Uber driver. And so that's kind of the same idea with anything that you're learning. First, you just need to become familiar with it. And we do that through seeing it and hearing it a whole bunch of times. But then we need to practice using it before we can demonstrate mastery on, say, an exam. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it really does. Because usually I, what I'll do, I'll stop at that, at that one part where it's exposure to practice. Yeah. But the teaching and talking thing, I've seen that happen. Like, we could be talking about the pelvis. And then, like, after you've talked about it, it, like, clicks a lot more than just yes. reading about it. Totally. And I think that that's a really important thing for you to remember about yourself as a learner. Yeah. Okay. So how would you say that you learn, since you're like at the mastery level, how do you learn? Hmm. Wow, I don't think anybody's ever asked me that question. <laughs> um, I'm definitely one of those word people, so I create a story for myself. When I was a college student, I didn't have a whiteboard, but you can write on mirror with Sharpie and then erase it with rubbing alcohol. So I would close myself in my room and just teach to the mirror and draw as I would go. So I was, I guess, always the teacher even when I was the student. But that practice of teaching someone else. Yeah. Like, have you ever like been a tutor or a coach or anything? Like, have you ever taught yeah. someone? Yeah. And so you know through that process, right? Yeah, definitely. Because I used to teach kids how to swim, and it was always like, you would have to like kind of rehearse it. You would have to get it right. Then you would like, as you teach them, like you kind of remember these things that you kind of forget yourself. Yes. And that's always like, whoa. Like teaching kids how to float was like, wait, oh, I should do this as well. By the time that you've taught something, you are the master of the material, right? Yeah. Like there's no way to do it without that mastery step. And the process of teaching reinforces your learning. And so you'll find along the way that, that your learning is like a ball that you kind of keep reshaping a little bit, right? Like it changes a little bit from class to class. But by the end, then you're ready to like be a master of learning everything.